I want to share a free tool with you that will take trash audio and make it sound studio quality in just a few clicks. If you've ever struggled with background noise, echo, or just poor quality audio in your videos, this free AI tool is gonna blow your mind. This free tool from Adobe uses artificial intelligence to analyze and remove background noise, echo, and distortion from your audio. It can even take trash audio that you recorded on a bad quality mic or a mobile phone and make it sound crisp and professional. Really exciting news. Since I recorded the first part of this video, Adobe baked enhanced speech right into the beta version of Adobe Premiere Pro. I'll show you how that works, but if you simply want to see the free version in action and how you can get access to it. Skip to 7 minutes 40 seconds in this video right now. Okay, so I have a couple of clips here. One is me in a studio with a noisy fan. Okay, I'm talking to you on a microphone that's right by a noisy fan over there. So you can definitely hear that Dyson fan whirring away. What will enhanced speech do on that? Then I have a second clip here talking on my iPhone. How about audio recorded on an iPhone? So as you can hear, no background noise there, but of course the iPhone's microphone is not the best quality. So what I'm gonna do, and I advise you to do this, it's really easy to access the feature. Go to workspaces in the top right, look for the audio workspace, and then we're gonna select both of these clips. And now there's a new feature as well as enhanced speech that allows you to auto tag it. It's gonna ID it as dialogue. So you no longer need to click dialogue there. I found in my experience, it's about 90% accurate. I've actually got some music over here. This is a music music track, let's play this. So I'm actually gonna test this feature out too by selecting all my clips, clicking auto tag, and let's see what happens here. Give it a few seconds, and yes, it is correctly identified that this is indeed speech. It's got the enhanced speech. This clip here, yep, this is also dialogue here. And then over here, when I select this, yes, it's correctly identified that this is music. So auto tagging, also a great new feature now available inside the beta build of Adobe Premiere Pro. Enhanced speech is also currently in beta as I release this video, but it may well obviously come into the full version soon. So let's test this out, first of all, on my noisy fan recording going to select the clip there with the audio and just click enhance. Now the pre-trained AI runs on your machine. There's no uploading of audio files and you'll see a little status bar here and also down here on the audio. It's done. Now I'm going to start off with no audio enhancement and play this back. Okay, I'm talking to you on a microphone. That, so that's the non-enhanced audio. Then I'm going to whack it across to the most, which is 1.0 on the slider and play it back. Okay, I'm talking to you on a microphone that, wow. I mean, that's pretty, there's no fan there. It's right by a noisy fan over there. And then let's slowly fade that fader down as we play back again. If I enhance the speech, does it get any better? Do I sound like I'm in a pro studio without a big noisy blowing fan? Okay, so as I was sliding that slider there from left to right, it was definitely making a difference. This is a great start. Let's do the same on my iPhone microphone here. I'm going to select that, click Enhance, give it a second. Again, the pre-trained AI model runs on your computer and enhances the speech for you. Boom, it's done. Let's start with nothing and listen to the original recording. How about audio recorded on an iPhone? And now let's go ahead and slide it over to the right and see what it does to my iPhone microphone. How about audio recorded on an iPhone? Okay, that's pretty incredible. Let's slide it down as we play back more. If I use enhanced speech, is it gonna sound a whole lot better? like I have a pro mic in front of my mouth. Now that is not bad at all. One thing I'm noticing that the enhanced speech feature seems to do is obviously it uses a lot of processing power to make your voice sound better, eliminate background noise and do all that good stuff with AI. It's kind of maybe taking a few frequencies out of the voice so we're losing particularly a bit of the high end, but I think I can fix that with the other tools available to me here in the essential sound panel on the right hand side. So. Obviously, I've noticed that I've lost some frequencies, but I also think it's quite quiet. How about audio recorded on an iPhone? So you see I'm peaking between minus 12 and minus 9. When I take enhanced speech off, let's play it back. How about audio recorded on an iPhone? You see I'm peaking up sort of minus 6, minus 3, so I've lost some volume. So let's switch that feature back on, enhanced speech to full, and then we'll use the dynamics effect here. And as I slowly increase it, you'll hear the voice gets louder and clearer. This is a bit of compression and a little bit of volume boost happening there on the audio. Let's listen. How about audio recorded on an iPhone? And look at that, and actually so loud it's peaking. So what we'll do is we'll also click the clip volume here and turn the level down ever so slightly. Maybe take it down by 2.6 dB. How about audio recorded on an iPhone? 
Okay, nice and loud and clear. If we want to take it even further, we can EQ. Uh, none of the presets in here are really good. Actually, I would do EQing myself using Parametric Equalizer in Premiere Pro. And if you want to know how to do that really well, I've got loads of tutorials on my channel. So make sure to make a note or click or look at the description where I'll link some Parametric EQ tutorials. But if I wanted to do it in a whiz, in a quick moment and make things better, the one I would go for is Vocal Presence. I mean, it's not it's not a great EQ curve, but it's better than nothing if you don't want to mess about with parametric equalizers. So again, we'll just fade this up until we get a desirable result. How about audio recorded on an iPhone? If I use enhanced speech... Okay, I'm going to use maybe uh, two on that, but one thing I think it does the more you put on is it increases the sibilance, that high-end SE sound, and it's also uh, it's it's just making me sound a little nasally. So it's not ideal. I would definitely set up my own EQ curve uh, a little bit differently to the way this one is configured. But if you're in essential sound and you don't want to go anywhere else, that's a great solution. And then vocal enhancer I actually quite like. Uh, if I tick this and switch it on, it increases the high tones initially with the high tone selected. How about audio recorded on an iPhone? But it goes very thin and there's kind of not much substance to it. Low tone is great, adds a load of bass, makes you sound rumbly. Listen to this. How about audio recorded on an iPhone? And actually, we've really played with that. And, and so much so, what I actually really want to do is I want to make a clone of this. Let's move that music along. Uh, and then I want to disable all the features on this. And I want to actually put it side by side so we can hear a direct before and after comparison. Let's bring this in here. So we just hear a direct before and after. Just going to trim this up nicely. And let's play the enhanced fully enhanced essential sound version with enhanced speech enabled and then we'll go back to the original iPhone microphone. So let's play. How about audio recorded on an iPhone? How about audio recorded on an iPhone? Interesting. You let me know what you think in the comments. Now, Enhanced Speech is available in the Adobe Premiere Pro beta build, which is available to everyone in the Creative Cloud app. Just look for beta apps and go ahead and install it, test it for yourself. And that auto-tagging feature is also cool. So now I've auto-tagged this music. It's correctly identified. I can play. How about audio recorded on an iPhone? Bit of a mix going on there, but thankfully we've got ducking as well, so it can duck against the speech. Let's see how well it does on default. How about audio recorded on an iPhone? How about audio recorded on an iPhone? But of course, ducking is a different tutorial, and there are more tutorials on that on my channel too. And now let's get into how you can access this awesome AI tool to enhance speech, remove background noise, for free. It's incredibly easy to use. All you need to do is export the audio from your video file. In Premiere Pro, you just click Export. And now under Presets, right here at the bottom, More Presets, you can look for Wave, and there it is, the ability to export in high quality WAV files. So I'm doing that, exporting the audio only from my video project. Simple, it's done. And then you go to the URL I'll post below, Adobe's new AI enhanced speech tool, and you simply choose a file. So I'm going to go to my desktop where I exported that WAV file, import it here to enhance speech. Okay, there we go. Now it's done. Now, since this feature was released earlier in the year, they've introduced a strength slider. So we can start with 0% enhanced speech applied. Background noise going on, but can it be fixed? Can okay, so there is background noise there. Let's put strength to 100%. Can this audio be fixed, or am I doomed? Okay, that is pretty good. So the enhanced speech possibilities just by dragging this into enhanced speech are pretty phenomenal. When you're happy with the result from the AI, you can just click the download button. It will download the file. You can head back into Premiere Pro and then drag and drop this audio onto the enhanced track. So you can see now I can solo and listen to the original. Here I am filming a video with quite a bit of background noise. And then I can take this off and solo the enhanced version. Going on. There's a lot of background noise going on. Okay, so that is a dramatic improvement, but let's not stop there. Let's play with a few other examples. Is an iPhone the best microphone to record on? Let's try audio enhancement. That's pretty bad. Let's listen to the result after AI enhancement. Is an iPhone the best microphone to record on? Let's try audio enhancement. The enhancer worked wonders on audio I recorded next to my tumble dryer as well. Let's hear the before and after of that. Well, here's the challenge. Let's place this right next to the tumble dryer and try and improve the audio. And then we'll run the enhancement magic. Does the audio sound any better when I use audio enhancement? 
So there you have it, an amazing free tool from Adobe to help you sound professional. Now, this is free. You can upload up to 30 minutes and up to one hour per day, absolutely free of charge. But if you want the ability to bulk upload, enhance up to four hours a day, and use that strength slider I showed you, then Adobe Express Premium is what you're going to need. Now, it seems Adobe have really been listening to creators, and it's priced at just $9.99 a month. And not only does it include all that audio goodness, but you also get access to a load of Adobe Express features such as generative AI, working with artwork, and a lot of Adobe stock premium templates as well. Try it out on your own clips. Let me know how you go in the comments down below. And I hope you got a lot from this tutorial. You're going to level up your audio. Remember to like and subscribe for more videos just like this one on my channel.